I tell you, this video is going to have some edits in it. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> so. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning back in. Hope you like the B-roll to start that off today. Uh, I, I'm always questionable if I should do B-roll or not, but some people like it, some people don't. Uh, so I try not to make it too long. Uh, but thanks for coming back to the channel and checking things out. We are doing another bag review. No, I didn't buy a new bag. Um, if you've been following your channel, just about a year ago, I went on a mission to find a bag that I could put a MacBook in, my camera in, and just really all my everyday things that I needed. Um, but I didn't want it to be too big. I bought a Thule bag. Um, which I really liked a lot. Um, I can link it below so you can see what it is. But the bag ended up being just a bag that was just way too big. I felt like I was a mountain hiker or something like that and I just didn't want to carry that to work, to a coffee shop or a brewery. Um, because I know a lot of people go to coffee shops to work and be productive. I do coffee shops and breweries because I just like editing in that environment. Um, I like being in that environment and if good beer and good foods around it even makes it better. Um, so I found the Wandered Provoke backpack. Not the Wandered Praviki, the Wandered Provoke backpack. I recorded it on this channel, um, and I guess I'm kind of here today to tell you why I probably will never buy another bag again. This is the best bag I've ever had. Um, that's a lie. I will probably buy another bag at some point, but it's this is the longest I went without buying a new bag. It's probably eight or nine months. I just really enjoy this bag. It fits all the things I need. In the, one of my original videos, I said I was using three different types of bags and had to like decide which one I wanted to take because I couldn't get everything in there. This one, the Wander Provoked, the 21 liter, I'll show you in a minute. It like fits everything I need. It's not too big, it's not too small. Um, and I could even travel with some clothes in it and stuff. So I'm gonna show you the bag, uh, kind of do a what's in my bag video. I've never done one of those before and hope you guys like it. So uh, I wanna tell you what I'm drinking. It's appropriate for the channel, it's a beer channel. I've got an other half beer. It's from uh, Other Half in Brooklyn, New York, one of my favorite breweries in the country. Um, it's called Cost plus 10, hopefully you can see the label pretty well, but it has a mule on it with a hat that says cost plus 10. And if you've watched my videos, you know I've talked about muling beers. There's some great people throughout the country that go to great breweries that don't distribute, that will be a mule, so to speak. They'll buy four pack or two pack, whatever you want. And they usually charge you cost of the four pack plus $10 to do so. It's kind of fair uh, in some breweries for sure. Some shouldn't be that much. Some breweries do cost plus 20, cost plus 30. Not the brewery itself, I'm sorry, the mules do that. Like if it's something that's really limited release. But I'm trying this out today, it's really good. I taste it already, I was gonna wait to drink it on here, but it's really good. Yeah, that is so solid. It's an Imperial IPA, 8.4% alcohol. A Little bit of oat, but just pure crushable IPA. I really like that. So I'm gonna leave this here. All right, so let's get to the bag. This is the Wandered Provoke 21 liter. I still wanna say Praviki when I see it, but it is the Wander Provoke 21 liter. You guys really liked this bag of video when I did it last year. Um, and I think just a lot of people like to like find out about bags and how they work based on videos. That's no, I know that's how I shop because a lot of the great things that are out there to buy are not in stores. Like Wander doesn't have stuff in stores that I know of, at least not around me. So it's great to go to YouTube and find videos of stuff you wanna buy. Um, I have a ring light right here. I, I bought it based off of videos that I saw. Um, hopefully the lighting's better in this video than some of my other sit down videos. So I'm just gonna kinda go through the bag and tell you what I have in it and where things are at in it, all right? So in the first part here, uh, I remember when I watched a video on this bag, the guys kept joking about business papers for the front pocket. This front pocket is kind of useless, um, but when I zip unzip it, I almost forgot I had this in there, but I do have, I do have some business papers in here. I also have a SIM card. Um, I didn't realize I have a SIM card. I have a SIM card in there. Uh, but I have my business papers in there, so there you go. I zip that back up. On the side here, this is my favorite part about the bag. Uh, it lets my camera go in here. When I have it on my back, I can slide it down and not take the backpack off. I unzip this part here. I open it up. I take my camera out. I'm not doing that right now because the camera is right here. It's filming me. Um, but you guys have probably seen that in the B-roll where I was taking it out right there, which is pretty cool. It has a spot here 
uh, to hook up a tripod. I have a Joby tripod that I use pretty regularly, um, but I've kind of, I've left the tripod in the office. Um, I've gotten to when I'm out vlogging, I will just hold the camera. Um, if you guys have other solutions that you recommend, let me know. Uh, but I felt like holding the, my a7 III and the Joby was just a lot of weight. Um, so I, I've actually been more comfortable just kind of holding the camera. That's 24, um, it's a focal length. It's pretty much wide enough that if I'm holding my hand out here, you can see me pretty well. It's kind of worked against me a couple times, um, but I, I like it. I think it still works out really well. And I might find a different tripod, but. It's also like, as you're vlogging in public, that's sometimes hard to do. It's nice to not have the um, Joby like, tripod because it doesn't look so like overpowering when people see you with a camera. The microphone doesn't enough, but um, I, I've just enjoyed it and I think I've been more comfortable vlogging without a tripod on it. There's another really nice little pocket. I think this pocket is typically for keys, but there's really not a moment my keys are not in my front right pocket. Uh, so what I do is I put my Beats, uh, Power Beats in here. These things are fantastic. I love them. Um, I'm not going to do a review on them. I can't do that, but I really, I do really love them. I just wish the case was smaller, but I have to keep them in my backpack here. Great little slot. But this slot has a spot to put your keys on it as well if you wanted to do that. I just, I've never really done that. On the top here, a little zip down. Uh, this is where I keep all my sundry items like uh, chapstick, uh, SD card reader, lightning cable, more chapstick, power, brick. Gotta have that, it's very important. And another lightning cable. I like have a problem. If I don't like have enough lightning cables, I kind of go crazy. But this is a nice little like felt interior here. You could put something else in there. You could put sunglasses in there. This is just what I choose to have because if I don't have two sticks of chapstick in my front right pocket, I need to have my bag just in case I run out. And that, that's just really important to me. So very cool. On the other side here, this is another spot where somebody could put a tripod because there's a nice little a pocket here where the bottom legs of the tripod could go in there. I choose to use a power bank. Um, this one's a, a Mophie USB-C one. It's got a USB-C connection and a lightning, uh, you, excuse me, a USB-C connection and a USB connection. Uh, it works really well. It will charge my 15 inch, 15 inch MacBook Pro if I need to. It'll charge my camera because my camera will charge on USB-C as well. Uh, but now the new iPhones, uh, the, the iPhone 11 Pro Max, it, ha it comes with a USB-C to lightning charger and that'll work really well in here. Charge a little faster, so love this thing. Uh, but it goes right here in the pocket for me. And then we go to the back side. And that's the great thing about this bag is everything is zips on the back. Uh, anything important, so to speak. I know you have your business papers here, so if you're walking down the street, somebody might come and get you and take your business papers. I mean, hopefully they're not too important, but they could unzip this and take those out. The great thing, they can't come in and take out anything really important. This back side here has a spot. I don't use this spot, but I think if you're a traveler, you would put your wallet or your passport in here. It's a great little spot to put stuff in. I think I've had some notes or actually, you know, I've kept receipts from uh, business trips that I've been on in there to make sure I don't lose them. I just shove them in there. I should take a picture of them, put them on my phone, whatever it may be, but you know, I like to have the receipt as well. But this spot here has got two spots to unzip. Zips that way. Let me throw these out of the way because this is going to drop open. Zips that way and this just drops down. This is really cool. Uh, when I did the bag review originally on this bag, I had two MacBooks in here. You can't, I could put a 13-inch MacBook Air in here. Um, I could put a, probably a 12-inch MacBook. I know I can put a 13 or 12.9 iPad in here for you or any tablet. Uh, but what I use is I put my MacBook in here, uh, my 15-inch MacBook Pro. Like that's my favorite thing about this. This bag is not overpowering and, and uh, just overbearing and I can still get my 15 inch macro pro in here. This thing goes with me everywhere. It's, it's my it's my buddy for sure. I don't have a name for it. Um, but I do have really cool stickers. Hopefully like my stickers. And I'm kind of weird. I swap out my stickers a lot. I, I, there's some I want to take off here and put some other ones on. If you have stickers, you like them, send them to me. I love stickers. <laughs> um, this compartment here normally is a little fuller than it is, but this unzips here. This little padding pops out. I will typically keep my microphone here, but the microphone's on the camera right now. My camera is usually sitting in this slot and these little dividers are Velcro. They can be moved around and reconfigured any way you want. But then I just kind of have a bag of goodies. These are just things that I just feel like I always have to have. I have this little thing that helps blow off any lint off of my lint, or excuse me, off of my sensor if something gets on there. I have some nice towels to wipe down the lens if I need to, um, but that goes in there as well. Let me put this back and zip this baby up. Where did I put the thing? Oh, right there it is. All right, so we got that part closed up. Um, I'm gonna open up this other compartment here. I talk about this compartment a little bit because 
Um, when I bought this bag, one of the, th the downsides of this bag is it did not have like a great accessory area, and you probably have seen that so far. Like I put my lightning cables, uh, my brick, my SD card reader, and my so important chapstick just kind of thrown in this top section, which I don't think is what most people use it for. But what I did do is I went out to Amazon, Amazon's great, and I found this like Amazon Basics. I think the brand is Bag Smart. Um, this is a great accessory holder. Um, I'm able to put like really everything I need in there. Uh, got cables, got bricks, got my USB-C brick from my MacBook, uh, camera chargers in here. It's got spots for SIM cards if you need to, more chargers, my USB-C uh, to lightning charger. So this is a great little bag. I love that and it throws, goes right in top there. And the last thing I have in the bag is this here. I, if I unzip it, there's nothing in here other than just some accessories for it. But I have my, you guys have seen it on my videos before, my Aperture little portable light. It's a fantastic light, but I'm using the light right now. now. This is the first time I've used two lights in a video, and I hope, like I said, I hope the lighting is a lot better. I can't wait to see it on the video itself, because the thing about the Sony is you can't really see yourself when you're uh, recording. Um, so that's what's in the bag. That's, that's a Wandered Provoke 21 liter bag. It's a great bag. I enjoy it, and uh, glad to have it. I um, hope you guys like it, but that's it. The thing is light, it's fun, um, but I hope you like it.